brutal attack this morning on a woman sleeping at a bus stop in Van Nuys. A man doused her with alcohol and set her on fire. She's in extremely critical condition and a suspect has been detained now. Eyewitness News reporter Sid Garcia is live in Van Nuys with more on the witness who helped chase down the suspect. Sid. Good morning, Philip. The attack happened about 1 o'clock this morning on the bus bench you see directly behind me. We're at the intersection of Van Nuys Boulevard and Sherman Way. Some of the people you see across the street know the victim and say the homeless woman was a fixture in this neighborhood for years. The bus bench was her home, and according to those who say they know her, her name was Violet. According to police and eyewitnesses, she was sleeping on the bench when she was attacked. Erickson Apino says he saw this man go into the Walgreens and buy a bottle of alcohol and then come out of the store and walk towards Violet while she was sleeping on the bus bench. He just poured it over, all over the, the old lady and then he'd throw the match on her and start running. So, and, I, and then I started running on him and I just told him, hey, stop right there, stop right there. And he, he kept, kept running, kept running and I was following him and then I pulled out my cell phone. I called 911 and then he just turned back on me and pulled up, pulled up a knife and he just told me stop following me or I will cut you and I just, oh wow, you know. Police say the 67 year old victim was severely burned. Robert Weineken says she was a regular at the nearby Lutheran Church. We've tried to get her off the bunch for years and she just absolutely refuses. That was her home and the people around here knew her and admired her and loved her. She's uh, very independent, very uh, resourceful. Police continue to question the man they've detained. There's still a lot of unanswered questions about what happened. One question investigators and the people who know Violet want answered, why? Did this happen to her? You were at Christmas, and uh, it's it's a it's a tragic thing. It, if it's senseless, and uh, I don't have an explanation for it, I you know I've seen a lot, and uh, I really can't. That's beyond my pay grade to make that call, but it's uh, it's senseless right now. And as Philip mentioned, Violet is in extremely critical condition. People here in Orr say they just want to pray that she somehow recovers. Reporting live from Van Nuys, I'm Sid Garcia. ABC 7 Eyewitness News.